duckies, Andy here, and OBS 31 is right around the corner. The beta has just released. Right now, you do have to do a manual build, so just bear with, and I'm sure it will be available properly, so you can do the, the update and everything like that, so just watch this space. There are some incredible features, a bunch of bug fixes, and some changes. If you want to see the full patch notes, I will leave a link down in the description so you guys can read all that, but I'm going to show you some of the things that really stand out to me. Future Andy here. By the way, make sure you stay tuned to the end because there is a little hidden surprise of something that is coming from the one and only plugin god, Exceldro. It's you're not gonna want to miss it, okay? Bear in mind, please, it is important to know that some of you uh, using NVIDIA will need to update your GPU drivers, and also this is very important for you gamers out there. Anti-cheat might cause some issues because of they're changing the sign-in of OBS, so just bear in mind, we don't want you getting banned on your games and anything like that. This is beta, remember, okay? So some of the most important things that I really like in this is inside of OBS now, we have scroll bars. So we can move the canvas around. Obviously, you guys that have been following the channel, if you're not, make sure you are subscribed because I taught you how to do this with your scroll wheel and also move your canvas around like that. Well, now we can kind of do that with these bars and also adjust the scale. So we can scale it to the window just here with this little button that you can see behind my head and press canvas and it'll zoom it in. It'll tell you how much we're zoomed in. So you can see 100% right now and we can zoom out with holding the space bar and the scroll wheel and then obviously move around the canvas like that which I really like. Something cool that they've added as well is when you add a display capture, if you guys remember and you test this out yourself, if you add a display capture into OBS, it normally picks up the first display it finds. Now it just comes up blank. So if you accidentally add a display that's maybe got something NSFW or something like that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it won't be broadcast straight away. Obviously you're doing this stuff in studio mode though, right? So it's not getting broadcast anyway. But now it comes up blank straight away, which is nice. And that's the exact same for window captures too. So when you open a window capture, it doesn't choose a window straight away. If you think this is already in OBS, try it yourself and let me know in the comments what window popped up for you, yeah? Uh, something else that's been added is some NVIDIA filters. So if I add my camera source just into here like so, we'll be able to see that when I add the OBS virtual camera, you can see I've got my camera back on now. We have got some new filters to play around with for you NVIDIA uh, users. So if I go to filters, go to effects, and then you can see we've got uh, NVIDIA background blur removal, uh, blur, blur filter, I read two lines at once then, and we've got the blur filter as well. So the blur filter does what it says on the tin, right? It uses, it uses NVIDIA to, to do some blurring, but obviously you guys are using the composite blur plugin from um, Finite, right? Finite Singularity has got the best blur plugin out there. But there is background blur filter as well. So if we press OK on this one, we've got NVIDIA broadcast. Woo! This is pretty spicy, you know what I'm saying? Like all just built into OBS. So you don't need to use NVIDIA broadcast. So having another piece of software running on your PC at the same time, you can just do this all directly in OBS now, which is super nice. I absolutely love that. No multiple filters. It's just one filter. Boom. Easy. They've also moved some of the NVIDIA stuff. So if you're doing an audio filter, there was the NVIDIA uh, noise suppression and stuff like that. Now it's under NVIDIA audio effects. So when you add that up, you've got the noise removal, room echo removal, which I should be using right now because my room's very echoey, uh, and also noise and room uh, echo removal. So that is now just in a different place, and all your stuff will auto convert into that anyway. So you don't need to worry about any compatibility issues when that does come out, which is really useful. Uh, something really cool that I really like is uh, I'm, I'm making a tic tac toe game because I made it ages ago and I need to remake it. But there's a bunch of different sources here. This is Terry Adarts. Go follow him if you like streamer bot content. He does some incredible stuff. But if I change my profile, I'm currently on a 1920 by 1080, right? I'll move it to 720. Not sure if you just saw what just happened there. I'll do that again. I'll go to 1440p canvas now. I'm not sure if anybody's noticing what's happening there. All these sources are scaling. Perfect. 
So no more. If you want to up your stream to 1440 or even stream all the way in 4K, you just go, okay, cool. I want to go 4K. And just to prove to you, if I open up my settings now, you will be able to see in the uh, video settings. Oh, this one's 1440, even though it said it was 4K. 1440 right there. How crazy is that? That I can change the canvas size now. You can see the canvas resolution is now... 1920 by 1080 and these scale accordingly that is a beautiful adjustment something to note though on top of that is that it doesn't work with stuff like the move plugin so if the move plugins rolling doing its thing right like this you can see i've actually put this on a different size canvas it's going off that source now you can see it's kind of going all the way over to one side where is it this one but if i change now back to 1440 it moves accordingly. So that's something that I've fed back to Excel Grow to see if he can add that into the move plugin, which hopefully he does, because then that means anytime you want to resize stuff, it'll auto resize. As you can see, some sources aren't working, source clone, but I'm sure Excel Grow can add that as well, which is gonna be really cool. But speaking of Excel Grow, OBS 31 comes with something absolutely insane. I've not tried it out myself, but it's something that Exceldro is working on. He's using stuff that Derrod has put together inside of OBS. The OBS performance. So you're finally going to be able to see what resources each source is using, each scene's using, and basically modify it accordingly. This is absolutely huge. For any of you guys, obviously that like doing multiple things in OBS and creating cool alerts. Like I make a bunch of stuff for you guys if you're supporting on Kofi and Patreon that is, is massive. There's loads of crazy stuff that I do. You've seen some in the video. Uh, this is going to be there. Make sure you go drop Exeldro a cheeky sub and follow him on Twitch as well because he streams this stuff live and I'm sure he'll answer any of your questions. Let me know what your favorite feature of this build is. I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on it because I'm really enjoying it. There's some really nice quality of life improvements. Make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss any of this kind of content because I'm usually trying to do it hot off the press so you guys can stay ahead of the game, all right? Thank you very much. Like it. I've, uh, I forgot what. You know, press the buttons. Leave a comment. Put your rock over the stone. Much love.